Should testing black belts be made to fail the first attempt that's to prove humility and perseverance? I see most people pass on their first and only attempt, and I think it's a little lame. Good question. I think that really comes down to a student-by-student student basis because you do have your students who will dedicate themselves 100%. Like the kids I mentioned earlier who they would come to class every day, go home, practice what they learned, research ahead of time, and come to class with questions to refine what they just learned. You have somebody who's doing that four, five, six, seven years. If they can maintain that level of quality at their black belt exam, if they can blow through their, their, their calisthenics, if they can meet all the requirements, if, they, if you can push them until they cry and they still perform, then I say they've earned it. If it's somebody who thinks they've just, okay, this is my black belt test, if they're casual about it, then maybe they haven't earned it. I mean, the black belt, it's kind of a breaking point for a lot of people. And we had kids that were literally sparring the last five minutes of their test, and they were bawling because they were so tired. They were so sore. They might have had a bump nose or a bruised lip. They were exhausted and pushed to the end of their limits, but they kept going. That perseverance was there. If that student shows that strong perseverance and spirit and will, it really comes down to is if would you be happy if you put a black belt on them with them representing your school? That's the real question. Do they uphold the standards of your school? If you think they need a little bit of work or if you think that their attitude is not quite where it should be or if you feel they need some humility, then yes, hold them back and let them know why. And the right student will understand this. They might be mad. They might be disappointed. They might not want to wait the six months or a year to test again. But if they continue training after that and try harder, well, then then they had some room to push. Then, yes, then, they, then they, they, they have a chance to earn it again. If they get mad and they rage quit, well, then they weren't going to represent your school that well anyway. So I, I do think that comes down to a student-by-student student basis. I don't think that should be an automatic fail the first time. That's a good way to lose a lot of students, especially those who have put in the time and effort. But I don't think it's a bad thing to keep expectations in check sometimes if you feel that they're not quite where they should be or they're not quite trying as hard as they should be or this is the moment they're supposed to be presenting themselves and they're only giving you 80 to 90 percent. All right. Hold them back. Make them try it again. Let them know that the expectations are there. OK. A lot of formats and we've talked about this as well. A lot of times your black belt test is a formality. A lot of schools, a lot of teachers will be testing you ahead of time. In our case, in our school with Kempo, we had about a month where we had to come in and do special special classes to make sure we had our techniques, to make sure we had our forms down, to find anything we didn't quite have. We had to prove our calisthenics. When the day of the test came, it was more of a final. It was really more about will and, and perseverance than the material at that point. Because if we were invited or able to come into that last day of testing, our instructor knew we knew our material, knew we could fight knew we were in shape, knew we could do our kata. We knew the material. The question was how we were handled it under pressure. So at that point in time, why you see a lot of people who don't fail the test, I think it's, that could be attributed to a lot of that because they've already, most people have already passed by the time they get to that day. It's just the last final step. You know, you walk across the country, you're, you're, you're 10 steps away from the, the building. Well, you've still done the journey. You know, are you going to get sent home because you haven't made those last 10 steps? It's, it's about that last little push to make sure to test their will and see how they handle everything under pressure. To me, it's checking the student's application under pressure. Yes, they might know that technique. Can they perform it or can they adapt it when everyone's watching them when they have that pressure on them? That's the test as far as I'm concerned. So most students who reach that level have already proven themselves, but I do think that, that should not be an automatic pass. If they don't adapt, if they freeze, or if they're not quite where they should be, then yes, those tests should be absolutely failable. Again, individual by individual basics. Um, basis.